The Office of the Geneva Center for Security Sector Governance, DCAF in the Gambia, Wednesday convened a conference to demonstrate the progress and achievement registered in the reform of the security sector with special impetus on results achieved in the framework of the DCAF program in the country. DCAF has been a key player in supporting the launching and implementation of the security sector reform process in the Gambia. It could be recalled that the Barolet government launched a series of reforms as part of its reform agenda to uphold the highest standards of democracy. Maria Macham tells us more of that in this report. The ultimate aim of this conference is to increase understanding and visibility of the security sector reform process by presenting some of the key achievements registered as a result of DCAF's engagement and support and also serve as a platform for information dissemination. It is hoped that following this conference, there will be a more thorough understanding of what security sector reforms are all about, how they are implemented, and the challenges inherent in their implementation, amongst others. This is crucial in ensuring increased transparency and accountability in the process. Security sector reforms have been implemented in the Gambia since 2017, and among the targeted security outfits are the military, police, and the intelligence service. The police doctrine, which outlines the mission, vision, and values of the police officer and which is supposed to serve as a guide in decision-making and in operations. This doctrine is hailed as one of the major achievements of DCAF so far in 2022. Kenneth Isaac, head of DCAF in Banjo, said the program will strengthen the effectiveness of both the Gambia Immigration Department and the Gambia Police Force to ensure security. The overall program aims to ensure that the Gambian Police Force and the Gambian Immigration Department are more effective in ensuring human security at individual and community levels with due regards to human rights standards. The programme focuses on the legal and policy framework governing both institutions, human resources and performance management, leadership, internal and external oversight, and gender mainstreaming. The Director General of the Gambia Immigration Department, Mamadine Ture, said progress has been made through DCAF support and that there will soon be an immigration bill tabled before Parliament for ratification. We have gone too far on the work that is ongoing. Just last week was when the drafting team finalized the drafting of the bill. And from that stage, it's going to move to the next stage. And we are very optimistic that this process will continue to sail through and hopefully we may have a new immigration bill either towards the end of the year or early next year. We are thankful for this. The Swiss ambassador to the Gambia, Andrea Semadini, said the security is an important foundation for stability while committing his country's continuous support to the relevant government agencies. Uh, over the past years, our authorities have established a solid and a well-functioning cooperation. It is based on partnership and on trust. Switzerland stays committed to support government agencies in the Gambia in migration matters. Gambia and Switzerland, we are both small. We are surrounded by bigger powers. Uh, you have the Senegal, we have Germany and uh, Italy and France. Uh, and therefore, maybe we have a special sympathy for each other because we know uh, how it is to be in that situation. The main objective of the security sector reform process in the Gambia is to enhance civilian oversight of the security sector as well as promote institutional transformation within the frameworks of good governance and human rights. DCAF is a foundation on the Swiss law and a member state-based organization that seeks to enable lasting peace and sustainable development by contributing to improve security for states and their people. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Cham.